slavery was the issue that divided this nation and brought on the Civil War. But the hope of a united state is what inspired newly freed Africans to take up arms and the sacrifices of those first colored troops as they were designated are honored at the unknown and known Afro-Union Civil War Soldiers Memorial in Chesapeake. Here's this week's postcard from Hampton Roads. Rhodes is loaded with Civil War history and plenty of places where those who fought and died are buried. But this cemetery in Chesapeake is truly unique as it is the only one in the nation that specifically honors the Afro-Union troops that fought in the Civil War. I want to introduce Dr. E. Curtis Alexander, your local historian and an expert, and have studied extensively the plight of the Afro-Union troops and have fought so hard to keep their memories alive. Tell me about this place. Well, this particular location is the unknown and known Afro-Union Civil War Soldiers Memorial. We started this in 2005, along with the help of Sheriff John Newhart, DAV Chapter 4, 41, 26, and 27, with the flagpole. The first one erected, and it flies three flags. It flies the national standard, 50-star flag. It, it, it flies the composite national standard flag authorized by Major General Benjamin Franklin Butler yep. on October 11, 1864, that salutes the soldiers who fought at Wilson Wharf, Chapin Farms, New Market Heights, Suffolk, and Petersburg. But the actual cemetery itself began in 1872. Now, you said that flag was authorized in 1864. Why did it take so long for these men to get the credit they deserve? It's simple, just like everything else. You uh, choose the parts of history you want to include. We felt it was our obligation to uh, reflect the history of men who made the reunification of America possible on April 9th, 1865. And at the time, this was a country that didn't even recognize them as citizens. That's, that's correct. Well, actually, we didn't get citizenship, the African, until uh, the passage of the 14th Amendment in 1868. What we have to understand is that the African volunteered to fight. They were not conscripts. They were not forced to fight for their own freedom. So they fought for the hope they had that things would be different in the future. There was always hope after 249 years of involuntary servitude. Over 3,000 Africans were freed. These were Afro-Union troops, the first in the history of the Civil War, right here in Chesapeake. We are surrounded by Civil War history in the making of America from 1863 to 1865. And that has to be uh, talked about, has to become a part of what students study in relation to what we have right here in our hometown. So this is a beautiful and peaceful place that mm -hmm. people can visit anytime, but when is the next special event here? On May 28th, uh, commonly called Memorial Day. We call it here Founders Day to celebrate the May 22nd, 1863 event when President Abraham Lincoln authorized the formation of the Bureau of Colored Troops. The African in mass volunteered to fight mm -hmm. to save the United States of America and to defeat slavery. So mark your calendar then for May 28th. Come on out, be part of one of the very special ceremonies here and tell them the Hampton Roadshow sent you. You know, we could spend the whole hour talking about that place and uh, Dr. Alexander founded the Bells Mill Research uh, the Bells Mill Historical Research and Restoration Foundation. He is a descendant of March Corpru. So when you, when you're mm -hmm. like, if you're new to the area and you notice Corpru, Corpru Road and yeah. these other places that have names, I mean, the history is is right here in the area. So yeah. it's it's a family ceremony cemetery to him personally and many others in the area, but a a, a state treasure and a national treasure too for what it symbolizes. Yeah, something. That's